to another fast food toy reviews video review. Today we have Zoom, set of five awesome looking movie toys released by Wendy's way back in 2006. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set we have a print scanner and so you can see all the characters from the show right there. Even the one kid with the ginormous fist so he can change his body size. It's a pretty cool movie. If you haven't seen it, if you've never heard about it, I understand, but it's worth having a look. It's definitely it's definitely kind of like a B-rated type movie, but it's still lots of fun. And for the time, 2006, it was a pretty funny movie. So I highly recommend checking it out. And so let's see what's going on with this thing. So there's a bunch of buttons here, and it says zoom right there, enter. So it's basically like a computer, handheld computer type thing. It's got a little thumbprint or fingerprint thingy right there. Let me show you that. And then there's the power button and stuff. Of course, it's all molded in. None of these actually work. <laughs> That's cool. And so there's nothing on the back. And so basically, it's a sticker dispenser. So right here, you pull this out like so. And you can see all the stickers. Let me see here. Restricted area. Summer Jones. And we'll keep pulling it here. And eject button. We'll keep pulling. And then there is Zoom. And then it says winner for the best pilot. So it's like a, an award, a medal. And there is Tucker Williams. And then right there is a little rocket. And there is Cindy Collins. <laughs> She's awesome in the movie, too. And then it reads, Zenith Program, United States Department of Defense. And then right there is a robot. What is the name of this robot? I can't remember. <laughs> and then let's see, who is this? This is Dylan West. And then right there is a high-energy sticker. And there is the... Zoom logo and danger authorized personnel only. Oh, and then the last one came all the way out. And then the last one is another Zoom sticker. And what's really cool about this, if you don't want to use the stickers, you just want to keep them for your collection, this actually kind of pops open like this a little hinges right there so you can roll it back up and put them back in there. And that's it. So there you go. It's the Zoom print scanner. So you know how Wendy's never puts exact names on their bags, you know, the, the packaging of their toys? So I don't know what this one is called, like a game toy of some sort. Here's a look at the back. You can see the big Z logo for Zoom. And then right here, it's got a spring-loaded handle. So you squeeze it like this, and then you have this dial in the center. And you can see that it like lands with a little arrow. It lands on different words. So let me read that to you. Energetic, athletic, not bad, okay. Champion, rookie, beast, almost, energetic. So I'm a little confused because I've been sitting here thinking about it. I'm like, what could you use this for? Like, so I'm guessing you do like athletic stuff or some kind of like things <laughs> physically. I don't know, like climbing trees, swimming. I, I don't know, bowling, like... I, like, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Like, I'm, I'm miffed. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. So, I don't know the exact name of this toy. So, we're just going to call it the, I don't know, the game dial something. <laughs> I don't know. But you spin it and whatever it lands on, I guess it's like, okay. So, if you do something physically or if you do something and then I do this, and then I judge you with this. So if you did, like, a perfect cartwheel, I would say, oh, look, at you're athletic. And then you do another cartwheel, and then it lands on athletic. <laughs> it, would keep, it would keep doing it. Do another cartwheel. Hold on. And then it lands on rookie. <laughs> so I, I don't know. So I need your thoughts. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this particular toy. And what name you would give this. Because, like I said before, Wendy's hardly ever puts names of the toys on their package. And so I'm really curious. This one's kind of got me stumped. All right, well, there you go. Well, this one's kind of easy. This was a Zoom Grabber. So we'll just call this the Grabber toy. And you got the little yellow button right there. So you squeeze that in the handle like this. And look at that. So it's kind of obvious what this one is called. And it's quite obvious what you do with it. You grab stuff. So let's see. Let's reach over here and grab something. Come here, buddy. Look at this. So we grab SpongeBob. So you can grab SpongeBob. <laughs> get back over here. No. Get, get back up here. Let's see. We can stand SpongeBob up here. And then what else can we grab? Let's grab this right here. Let's see. Can we grab that? No. No. We got it. We got it. We got a minion. So it's perfect for grabbing minions and little SpongeBobs. No. Get back over here. Come here. 
Go grab a SpongeBob. There we go. No, we had it for a second. No, I gotta get SpongeBob back. There. It doesn't have like <laughs> it's too smooth the plastic on it. It doesn't have like good grippy strength, so it can grab it, but it doesn't hold because there's no grip, like a stick feature to it. Or you don't have to grab it at all. You can just wedge it on the end of your grabber. <laughs> Oh, I have too much fun messing with this, this stuff. Anyway, anyway, there you go. It's the Zoom Grabber. This one's definitely the coolest one so far. This is like a wristwatch disc launcher. And you can see right here, you got your traditional watch band right here. So you just kind of fold it like this, put it on your wrist, and then kind of just fold it in there or whatever. And obviously it's a little too small for my wrist, but nonetheless, I can still make it work. You don't have to wear it to make it work. So on the side right here is a little button and you give this a push and you got little discs right there. Check this out, ready? Watch, push the button and look at that. That's pretty cool. And they're just little cardboard discs. So let me show you those. So there they are. They look like little metal discs. And all you do is you just slide them in like that. We'll see, we'll grab another one here, slide it in, and look at that, there you go. And then you're all reloaded and ready to shoot again. Look at this. That's actually pretty cool, it's a good, it's pretty powerful actually considering. This is really neat, <laughs> I love it. So there you go, it's the wristwatch disc launcher. And the last one up we'll call the Zoom Activity Book and you can see it looks like there's all kinds of lights and buttons and such on there. And there's a picture of all the characters from the movie. And so you come to the back real quick, let me show you this. So on the back, you had a little area where you punch out they call them tools. So we have like special little tools that you punched out right here and here. It's almost like a little flashlight, but just, you know, made of paper. And then right here is like a little storage area for each one as well. There's little slots in the paper, so you can just slide them in and store them in the back. And you open it up in the front here, it reads, let me read this to you. It reads, have a blast with these Zoom activities. They're full of hidden twists and turns. Explore each page using the special Zoom tool. And then it reads again, go to the back page to pick up your tool. Move the tool between the black page and the clear plastic page to reveal secret games and pictures. And so how this works is you grab your tool, we'll grab one of these, and then you have some plastic clear pages right here. And you slide this under here like this. Look at this. And it reads right there. It reads, the Zoom team is hungry. Only one street will lead the team to Wendy's. Can you find it? Watch out for dead ends. Okay, so it's like a maze. And so basically all you do is you start here. Let me see if I can get this right. So you start here, there's a little start button. You kind of follow this around and try to make your way through the maze all the way to the end. This is kind of neat. And then once you get to the end, you can find the right path. It takes you to the Wendy's West restaurant right there. Look at it. So there's Wendy's. So you just got to follow the right path. Okay, and let's check out the next one. These are actually kind of cool. All right, and we got this one. There we go. So we have a clear page, and then we have a black, solid black page. So let's do this. So what does this read down here? It reads, here we go. It reads, help start the spaceship by finding the decoding and decoding the sequence, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. And there's like a symbol for each number. So five, four, three, two, one, and then blast off with the big B. So then you, I guess you would just what, kind of zoom around with your little flashlight tool and kind of find the different symbols and such. What does that read? That's a fuel pressure gauge. That's kind of cool. And then what do we got over here? It's like a little monitor screen, bunch of buttons and such. This is neat. Okay, so you gotta find all the symbols and then you can blast off, I guess, I don't know. And then moving on to the next one, what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay, so we gotta lift the clear one up and then we gotta get the flashlight in there. So let's see what we got going on here. So is there any instructions? It looks like it's another maze type game. So what do we got here? I see a bunch of suits and stuff in there. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Is there instructions? Oh, way up here. All right, here we go. Well, I tucked that right up in there. So let's see if we can figure out what this reads. This is kind of tight. Here we go. I think we got it. And there. Let's let's see if we can read that. It reads, let's see. The kids in the Zenith program need to get their supersuits before they can board the FE-12 spaceship.
Help them collect their suits by finding the one colored path that has all four outfits and leads to the ship. You must stay on the same colored path the whole time. Okay, I see. So let's check this out. Let me get this right. <laughs> there we go. So each path is a different color. Oh, I see. So you have to follow the right path and collect up all the super suits before you can get on the spaceship. Well, that's cool. Okay. That's kind of neat. All right. So, and then the last one, because there's four different activities here. So let's get to the last activity and see what's going on with this one. So we flip this up and we'll grab the flashlight. There we go. And let's see. Ooh, this one looks kind of crazy. Look at this. That's really neat. And is there instructions? Yes, there is instructions. So let's see if we can get this highlighted up here and read this. Here we go. And what does this read? It reads, Help Zoom gather up the team and head to the Zenith Project Headquarters in Area 52. Start at the bottom and find the only path that connects Zoom with all four team members and their robot friend. Okay, so this one's like kind of zany looking. All kinds of colors and stuff. But it's like another it's like another maze so you start here and then you kind of just work your way around and try to find the right path and everything look at that and there's our robot friend right there this is cool i like this yeah this is a really cool activity book i don't know what else to call it we'll just, just call it the activity book and like i said before and then when you're done you just come to the back here and there's little storage slots right here we can slide your little tools in there and of course if you want to cheat well, there's all the answers to everything right there. So anyway, there you go. It's the Zoom activity book. And finally, we have one of the kids meal bags that you got back in the day when you went to Wendy's and you got your Zoom toy. You had the Zoom bag. <laughs> That's cool. And so there's a couple of different activities on here. And it reads right here. We'll flip it to the back. On the back, it reads Zoom only in theaters. T tool hunt. The Zenith team kids are searching for some lost tools. Help them find a screwdriver, a hammer, a wrench, paintbrush, and flashlight. So if you look at the robot here, let's see. There's a screwdriver. And what is that right there? Is that anything? It looks like a, a hammer. There's the paintbrush. What else can we find? So we found the screwdriver, the hammer, the paintbrush. So we need a flashlight. Let's see. Do you see the flashlight? I'm looking. I don't see a flashlight. Does anybody see the flashlight? Oh, it's right there. So there's the flashlight right there. And let's see. And we need to find the wrench. We need to find one more thing. Is there a wrench? Where is the wrench? <laughs> it's right there. We found it. There's the wrench. Sweet. I'm a super genius. Okay. And then it reads, Princess bought some flowers for her friends. From the clues below, guess which bouquet Princess chose. The bouquet has six leaves. There are no red flowers in the bouquet. There are five flowers in the bouquet. There is a yellow bow on the bouquet. So which one is it? Anybody know? So, <laughs> I'll give you a second to look at that and then you can guess. And then let's see, so on this side, let's see, what does it read here? It reads, take a long look at this picture. Try to remember everything you see in it. Then answer the questions on the side of the bag. So here, take a look at this picture. Take it all in really good. We'll give you another second or two. Okay. And then on the side, which side? Is it this side? Okay, here we go. Yes, let's open this up a little bit. So hopefully you got a good look at the front of the bag. Let's open this up. There we go. And then it reads right here. See if you can tell which statements are true or false without looking back at the picture. So we'll give you one more look at the picture. Here we go. There's the picture. Take it all in with your pretty little eyeballs. There we go. And now, let's see. There are five people featured on, in the picture. True or false? The older girl has brown hair. <laughs> true or false? Two people are wearing dark yellow outfits. True or false? <laughs> the young boy's right fist is bigger than his left fist. The flying saucer has red and green lights. The robot has three legs. One person is holding a book. And the other member is wearing a black helmet. So, how many do you think you got right? Any guesses? And then we will flip it back around. And let's see. We'll give you another look at the photo. <laughs> this is cool. And let's see. What's on this side right here? And it reads right here. What does it read? New kids' choices. You got a turkey and cheese sandwich or a ham and cheese. 
Look for look for other kids' meal choices, including hamburger, cheeseburger, or chicken nuggets. Now choose low-fat yogurt with granola, fries, or... What is that? Mandarin oranges? Oh, I like the little mandarin oranges. This is actually a fun little bag. I like the activities on this, especially the memory one. That's kind of tricky. Anyway, there you go. It's the Wendy's Zoom Kids Meal Bag. There you have it, everyone. Zoom, set of five awesome little movie collectibles released by Wendy's way back in 2006. I like this set. I really like the movie. I can't recommend it enough. It's a really fun, goofy, silly movie. I think it's adorable. I think you'll enjoy it. So, again, I think my favorite one here is probably the shooting wristwatch toy but of course you got the print scanner with the stickers the activity book is fun and of course you got the little grabby thing here but what do we call this what do we do with this leave a comment down below let me know <laughs> i have no idea but it's kind of cool i guess i don't know anyway that's it thanks for watching everybody take care we'll see you again next time